What's up, guys? It is the one and only True Warlord here, bringing you guys again another Call of Duty video. And today we're talking about Advanced Warfare once again. We are so close to the release of Advanced Warfare, and I am just as excited, if not more excited, than anybody else out there right now. And I have it pre ordered from GameStop, and I am ready to go pick it up. But today we're talking about what you guys are doing to prepare. For advanced warfare before we jump straight into this commentary I want to talk about the gameplay in the background now the gameplay in the background I don't exactly know what my kill to death ratio is at the end of this game I know it's a free-for-all game and I know that the kids that I was playing against were talking so much smack and uh, I just kind of came back kicked them in the asshole and moved on with my life so that is exactly why I decided to put this gameplay up here and hopefully you guys can get some some interesting um, usage out of this <laughs> and hopefully it, it, it pleasures your eyeballs anyways so jumping into the topic that we have at hand and it is what are you doing to prepare for advanced warfare I myself haven't done a whole hell of a lot to prepare for advanced warfare and I'll tell you exactly why uh, advanced warfare has all kinds of jumps and dashes and side movements and exo stuff so I don't really know where to begin the closest I've come to preparing for advanced warfare considering we haven't had another multiplayer game made by sledgehammer um, I'm playing Black Ops 2 because it's the closest thing I can get to what Advanced Warfare is going to feel like, it seems like. So I also want to know what you guys are doing for your schedule. A lot of people, uh, you know, take days off, don't go to school, do their thing for November 3rd, uh, or for the release of the newest Call of Duty, such as what I'm going to be doing this year, actually. Uh, I actually have taken off the 3rd, 4th, and, well, no, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, of November from work and I will not be at school the 3rd and 4th of November because those days are gonna be strictly for Call of Duty man let me tell you I am so excited guys I like I, I'm just I'm pumped man um, I'm looking forward to the exosuits the customization the emblem editor the leveling up the 15 motherfucking prestiges what's good 15 I was really hoping they would do that and uh, it looks like we got what we wanted and so far so far, it seems like uh, Sledgehammer Games has really been listening to the community and really listening to what we want instead of what the average gamer wants. Now, the average gamer also uh, is part of this community that Sledgehammer Games is listening to, don't get me wrong. But it's it's nice to see that there's a developing company out there that still listens to its fans. No offense, Treyarch, because you do still listen to us. But Sledgehammer, or not Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, fuck you. I'm tired of your bullshit games, goddammit. Release some good games. You'll win my, my, my heart back, my love for Call of Duty. Uh, it will come back. It will return. You just got to make good games. That's all it takes. You know, take a note out of Sledgehammer and um, Trey Ark's book. If, you know, I haven't gotten my hands on the game, so I can't say a whole hell of a lot for uh, Advanced Warfare yet, but I it has to be better than Ghosts. You know, like, what are my expectations? Be better than Ghosts. That's literally all I have. Just be better than Ghosts. If you can do that, then you're, you're that much better for me, okay? So, uh... You know, I kind of look at this from Sledgehammer's point of view, and they might be thinking they don't have to overcome a lot to to do better than Ghosts. And I have a feeling that a lot of them are thinking about that because if you noticed with the multiplayer reveal, they like pointed out things that they took from Black Ops 2, but they didn't take jack shit from Ghosts. And that's a good and bad thing because I do hope that they take the, the hit detection because believe it or not, the hit detection was decent. For the most part, there was times where shots were just completely fucking wonky, but that's going to happen no matter what. There's going to be times in Call of Duty games where that happens. Just get over it, okay? It's like dying. You, you play Call of Duty, you know you're going to die. You're not going to just never die, all right? So just fucking deal with it. Um, but, you know, Sledgehammer has been doing a really good job of listening to us, and I think this game is going to turn out to be fantastic you know dlc i'm really looking forward to i want to know what they're gonna do with dlc this is gonna be their first ever dlc for a call of duty game from a different developing company it's gonna be first for a lot of things to be completely honest and i'm ready man like i i'm like a virgin boy ready to play his first video game again i'm ready dude so ready and it just does not get better than this. This time of the year when the Call of Duty hype train is a, a rolling and it's so strong. And the same thing happened with Ghosts, though. You, like, everybody got so excited for Call of Duty Ghosts and then it just turned around and took a giant 
pile of shit on their head and everybody hated it and, you know people tried to sugarcoat it and be like oh it's it's not that bad i mean sure i just got shot from like two feet away with a fucking sniper rifle while i was lagging across the map and uh, i had an smg and that shit happened a lot but that the game's okay for the first three months that was all you heard and now everybody's just like ghosts what the fuck's that nobody played that game i don't know what you're talking about uh, and I think it's sad that I can hop on Black Ops 2, and I can see that there's a higher population on Black Ops 2 Xbox 360 than there is Ghost 360. Now, there's more to that than it just being a bad game. Uh, there's also the next-gen versions of, or the now current-gen versions of the game. So, that kind of divides the Call of Duty group in a little bit there, and probably adds some more people to it. Uh, I kind of want to know what you guys are doing to prepare for Advanced Warfare. I got so much Mountain Dew code saved up, and so many Mountain Dew codes entered. I am ready to fucking rock this shit, okay? I'm going into this full blast, ready to to get some double XP. I'm just, I'm ready to go, man. Like, you can't stop me. Uh, the first day is double XP. The second I, I wonder if they let you decide when you want to activate your double XP. That's what I want to know, because if they do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, activate my double supply XP if you can do them separately, and I'm going to start that when the game comes out and use the first day of double XP that comes with the Day Zero edition, and then when the Day Zero, the first day is over, then I'm going to implement that next 12 hours of double XP that I'll get off of the Mountain Dew and Dorito codes. That's what I want to do. But will you get to do that? I don't know. Will it just end up being like quadruple the XP? Who knows? Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. That gameplay was fucking epic right there. Let me know what you guys are going to do. Uh, Twitter, Facebook links down in the description. Please like and subscribe if you guys are new. It helps me out a lot. helps me grow. And deuces. So what's the point in trying as hard as you can?